Charles Chaplin, a towering figure in the world of cinema, was born on April 16, 1889, in London, England. Raised in a family of performers, Chaplin faced a challenging childhood marked by financial struggles. His parents, both actors, had difficulty making ends meet, and his early life experiences would significantly influence his later work. Chaplin's journey to stardom began in the world of vaudeville and small theatrical productions. However, it was his transition to the world of film that would catapult him to international fame. In 1914, at the age of 25, he joined Keystone Studios and introduced the iconic character of the Tramp, a wandering bowler hat-wearing figure with a toothbrush moustache. The Tramp became a symbol of the comedic and tragic aspects of the human condition, resonating with audiences worldwide. The 1915 film, The Tramp, solidified Chaplin's status as a cinematic sensation. A unique creative genius, Chaplin seamlessly blended humor with profound social commentary. His films not only entertained, but also delved into the deeper complexities of the human experience. In 1921, Chaplin established his own studio, United Artists, giving him unprecedented control over his projects. One of his most celebrated works is The Gold Rush, where Chaplin expressed concerns about societal issues and social inequality. Another notable film is Modern Times, in which Chaplin explored the dehumanizing effects of industrialization during the Great Depression. In 1940, amidst the backdrop of World War II, Chaplin created one of his masterpieces, The Great Dictator. In this film, he portrayed a Jewish barber who is mistaken for a dictator resembling Adolf Hitler. Through satire and humor, Chaplin boldly criticized fascism, anti-Semitism, and totalitarianism. The Great Dictator remains a powerful testament to Chaplin's ability to use comedy as a tool for social and political commentary. Despite his incredible success, Chaplin faced challenges in the 1950s during the era of McCarthyism. His political views and associations led to accusations of being a communist sympathizer, and he eventually left the United States. Chaplin settled in Switzerland but continued to create films, though they did not achieve the same level of commercial success. In 1972, Charles Chaplin returned to the United States to receive an Honorary Academy Award for his exceptional contributions to cinema. His final film, A Countess from Hong Kong, did not achieve significant commercial success, but Chaplin's legacy remained untarnished. Charles Chaplin passed away on December 25th, 1977 in Switzerland, leaving behind a rich cinematic legacy. His impact on the world of film endures, and his movies continue to captivate and inspire audiences across generations. Chaplin's ability to blend comedy with profound social insights solidifies his place as a pioneer in the history of cinema.